Dude filmed a train being ran on dear old mom. Yeah, yeah. In in Brazil, there was a case where he filmed it. Which is really disturbing to me. Like, how are you okay with it? Yeah, they banned her from the school grounds. Oh my god. Yes, here we are again together. Crying Hello. inside. Hello. Hi, my name is Sydney. Welcome back to Hi. Hell. And as per Hi. usual, before we launch in, today's video is sponsored by me and my new company, Lions Tea Exchange, which if you haven't oh. checked out, you definitely should because the tea is great and you'll love it and it's linked in the description box. Now, oh, that's if cute. you have been tea. here for any length of time orbiting this planet of insanity and sadness, you will already be aware that I have covered the topic of OnlyFans a bunch on this channel. But what yeah, we I have watched never video discussed, on at least in detail, is the effect that this is having and potentially going to have going forward on children whose parents make adult content because i'm sure this issue is going to be really fun for everyone going i didn't even know my parents did the coitus until i was like a teenager i did not know that they actually do the thing because my parents were very like secretive they didn't want to expose me to like you know th that kind of thing they were very modest how did you think you got made I thought it was like a thing that just kind of happens. You know what I mean? Like you, you decide to have the sexage, but then you never do it again, if that makes sense. No, 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 not the stork thing. No, 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 no. I thought it was like a one-time thing and then a baby pops out and then you never have it again because I, I wasn't raised to be like super like, I guess like sexual, <laughs> that makes sense. I just thought they do it like once or twice and then a baby comes out and we're good. Yeah, yeah. I didn't I didn't think it through when I was a kid. No, 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 they don't do it. Stop. Sex was a taboo topic. I wouldn't say taboo. I would just say it was kind of a modest thing that my only my mom would ever talk to me about. Like my dad? Absolutely not. No. Never. Never watched Family Guy as a kid. Bro, I didn't I didn't liken cartoon to real life, man. <laughs> to be fair, that's how it's supposed to be. I genuinely think it warps your view of parents if you find out or you catch them having doing the coitus. Having the coitus or doing the coitus. My parents never brought it up. Yeah, mine didn't either, and I feel like that's just how it has to be. It kind of scars you, it fucks you up. Lord. As OnlyFans continues to gain traction and popularity, as more and more women seem to view this platform as a legitimate means of making a decent income, it seems that there will inevitably be consequences for families. Now what specifically made me want to talk about this issue was a post I saw on Reddit not too long ago. Not counting for the fact that Reddit is the internet's butt. A woman asked the subreddit, am I the a-hole, if she is in fact the a-hole, for continuing to stream and post content on OnlyFans, Kick, and Twitch while her son is being bullied for it. It's her income? I mean, she's still the asshole for it. Absolutely! My mom was worried about being a substitute teacher in the same school as my brother because she thought she that my brother would get bullied to the point where she like hid the fact that they were related and she didn't pick him up from school because people are so vicious. Imagine. Imagine fi your friends finding out about your mom doing OF. And finding her OF and bullying her. Uh, bullying him for it. And my mom was a teacher. It's like a dignified job, you know? Yeah, my, my, mom, and, my mom did not tell anyone that, that they were related. Because she didn't want her to get bullied. <laughs> and kids are brutal. Like, why would you bully someone for having a teacher that is your mom? Or they didn't even teach. My brother was never in the same class as my mom. 
That's that was like an explicitly like forbidden thing to do. In a way, it's not her fault that kids are awful, but yeah, it sucks. I mean, kids bully each other for everything. So yeah. My mom avoided teaching in my school until I finished. Yes, because it can be that bad. Uh, yeah, probably. In the post, the mother says that she is a single parent who has been using platforms like OnlyFans and Twitch for income, mm -hmm. netting way more than she's ever earned in any other job. Mm -hmm. However, despite the financial payoff, her 14-year-old son told her he is being teased by his classmates because of his mother's content, leaving him feeling humiliated and alone. Oh, oh, my heart. Oh, my God, man. Oh, my gosh. I just felt a wave of empathy. That is so sad. That is so sad if that's real. Getting bullied and feeling humiliated and alone. Ugh. The woman finished her post by writing, I'm torn between the need to maintain our financial security and the negative effects my career is having on my son. I strive to be a good mother and provider, but I'm questioning if I'm failing him in other ways. Am How do people find this out as well? How do you find out that your mom's streams? I have streams? my doubts. It sounds fake as fuck. Why? Why does it sound fake? It, it happens. It clearly does. Like, there was, there was on mainstream news, there was a woman who had an OnlyFans ad on her car that she drove to school. I don't see them finding out. Why? Why? We already have, like, actual mainstream news media covering this kind of stuff. She advertises her OF on her social media. All it takes is, like, taking someone's name and putting it into Google and just doing, like... Yeah, or they recognize their face or something. Or, or, or the teachers find out somehow? Maybe one of them, like, I don't know, <laughs> looks at corn and then finds out that way? It's plausible. I don't think it's fake because we've had so many instances of this happening already. Most likely the kid in Cofidence WHO told others people be cruel. That's also plausible. Kids are stupid and think that people wouldn't hurt them. Like, I entrusted people with secrets that I didn't want people to find out and then they fucked me over. It's very, it's very, um, plausible. That's, that too. Is he more talking about how a bad, bad OnlyFans mother who was insulting her own child? Yeah, people are dicks to their own kids. It's horrible. Am I the a-hole for continuing this work despite the emotional cost it's having on my son? Ma'am, is the answer not obvious in the way that you have articulated this? Can you not- I don't know, man. Oh, that is just- <laughs> I wouldn't do it in the first place, so I can't even say, like, Oh, I would go work in McDonald's because my bro uh, my son is having emotional like trauma because of school and like I just can't put myself in those shoes. I really can't. I'd bet kids over here their parents talking shit about the OFO and spread the rumor. Yeah, it could be anything, man. Anything. Oh, I'll deny that. F I'll deny that. For one reason alone. My brother literally got bullied for being from a different country. They put him in a trash can and threw him into this local... Uh, not the local swimming pool, but the swimming pool that they had in the school. During recess. I don't think people are that vicious anymore. Really. Maybe, like, emotionally a little bit, but... Mm, I don't say... I wouldn't say it's worse or better. I got bullied for having a dead mother. Yeah, I'm just saying, people have always been really cruel, especially children. They just don't understand the capacity of your words, or that it might affect you in some way. This tradition from physical to emotional verbal. Um, I heard a story, this is like actually true. Uh, one of my neighbors has a son who's around about like 10. And the son said that he got bullied for having no followers on Instagram 
and having under 200 followers on Twitter by his own, like, peers. I was like, what the fuck? Why? And he's like, because it means you're we not cool. We found out that one of our high school teachers was in a niche porn series involving bicycles and his screen name was Rico Smash. <laughs> middle school people were bullying each other for having uh not having enough friends it's like the south park episode do you know what i'm talking about this the south park episode where they if you don't have a lot of friends it means you're like lower in the social hierarchy yeah it's true and it's gotten worse in my opinion but i think like the actual bullying that people like people used to bully each other for being I don't know. I'm not gonna get into it. People used to bully each other for for like naturally normal things now. Has it gotten worse? I think that it's not gotten worse. I think it's stayed the same. It's just it's different flavors. There was bullying for Fortnite. <laughs> I believe that. I don't know why. I do. Yeah. What's worse now is how it's done through Snapchat, so it reaches way more people. Yes. Yes, that uh, that probably is a big factor. But I'm not saying the severity has gotten worse. I think that the propagation, the finding out, uh, like the internet is more, uh, what is it called, popular as well. Kids are getting bullied for not having paid skins a lot. Yeah, yes. Yeah, it's like really stupid stuff like that. But then again, I got bullied for not having like uh, designer clothes when I was in school. Like there's different degrees. It's all different flavors, but it's the same. If that makes sense. There was bullying for watching VTubers before. Look at us now. Nah, man. I don't, I don't think little kids watch VTubers. Bro. Not read the room? The comments reacting to this post were very divided, with people saying that she is the a hole because she's contributing. Hold on, let me read that one. This post were very divided, with people saying that she. You're the asshole. People can say your body, your choice, all you want, but your choices seriously affect the family that you're trying to provide for. You can't say you didn't see this coming with the type of content you know you make in the age of your son to each their own. I get it. You pay for your bills, but you knew this would likely become an issue or at least should have. I mean, it's like finding out that your mom is like. I don't know, walking the streets. You know. In the red light district and then someone finds out and tells their parent and then that parent tells the other parent. It's the same principle. Like, they're gonna find out somehow. Someone's gonna tell them. She Especially in a small town, by the way. Small towns are notorious for this. She is the a-hole because she's contributing to the emotional anguish of her child, and it's absurd that she's surprised by this at all, while others suggested that it's better to be financially stable, even if the job is embarrassing for her son. Pick your poison, man. Would you rather be a bit poor or be rich and have your, like, pay for your son's therapy kind of deal? Like, or move schools? Look into resources at the school. Talk about options to strategies with your son. What strategies? How do you have a comeback for... Guys, guys, be serious for a minute. Hold on. Hold on. To be serious, how do you have a comeback for someone saying your mom sells OnlyFans nudes? I can't think of one. I don't know. If it's actually tons of money, move to another town? Yeah, you'd have to, like, move. And she makes three times your dad's income? Yeah, but then... I don't know, man. Yeah, she makes three times your dad's income. Yeah, but she's like, I, I can see her tits on the internet for free. Like, there's so many counterpoints to that. And your dad jerks, jerks off to her, I guess. You just beat them? I don't know if that kid's gonna beat a bunch of bullies like that. 
Moving would just be a question of time there too. The pro I mean, move I guess. is fucking the bully's mums. <laughs> why you watch my mom? I. Why you watch my mom? Cause she's hot, and I want to see her boobies. <laughs> yes, I tend to agree that living in a cardboard box is probably not the go. But neither is letting your kid get emotionally beaten to a pulp because you want to take your clothes off on the internet for $15 a month. Now, a short- Well, it's not $15. It's more than that. If she's, if she's saying that it's more than any money she's ever had. At least my mom is getting paid for it. Your mom out here getting ran through for free. <laughs> Okay, that one wasn't so bad. <laughs> that would be my comeback. You tried. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. A six out of ten. Time later, the mother posted an update. After a long discussion with her son about his feelings, the woman said that she has decided to disable her OnlyFans and will move away from inappropriate content completely. To many wow. people, this probably seems to be the most obvious solution to the problem. Wow, I'm impressed. Problem. And even though the damage might already be done because the images and content are already out there, at least the mother is listening to her child and taking action. But the interesting thing here is that the reaction of this mother in this particular case doesn't actually seem to be the norm. And I know- It's not? Oh. God. Oh, what you're probably thinking here. Oh, but Sydney, God. this is just you basing this off of a bunch of anecdotes that you found around the internet. Yeah, they could also be lying. You never know. You don't trust the internet that easily. And you would be right, because it's not like we have a bunch of statistics about mothers deleting their not safe for work content off the internet because it made their child sad. Although with how things are progressing and given enough time, I don't think we're too far off. That revelation makes me terribly unhappy. Most of the stories that I've read, the women particularly who I have listened to, and the other anecdotes that I have collected from around the internet, seem to have one very common thread. And that is, these children are being bullied relentlessly, not only by their peers, but generally by, I guess, wider society. They are being uh -huh. punished for sure. the content that their mums and sometimes dads post and make online. The parents are aware of this, but they don't- Wait, dads? Dads do this too? Uh, erb. I would be very upset if I found out my dad does that kind of thing, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I- Oh man, no, no, I'm good. No. I don't intend to stop. Not to mention, the young OnlyFans women who don't yet have children but want them in the future are incredibly flippant and very cavalier about how this will affect their little ones somewhere down the road. So that's what we're going to talk about today. The children of OnlyFans parents and more specifically mothers because there's just more of them. And what on earth is going on here? And of course, once again, all of my regular disclaimers, this is by no means an exhaustive video. I am not going to hit every single point of this topic in this video. This is a snapshot that is based on observation, my opinion, and a little bit- And it's, and it's also Reddit posts, you never know. Look, all in saying is Johnny Sins is the hardest working <laughs> man in America. <laughs> oh, sevens in the chat. He's an astronaut. He's a plumber. He's an electrician. He's a movie director. Wow, amazing. Bit of analysis because once again, we do lack, you know, meaningful empirical evidence that might help us explain some of what's going on and some of the effects and consequences that come along with this topic which I feel like is obvious, but I always have to say. So with that being said, and before you once again board my hell gondola and together we traverse this, this river of sadness and uh. cry tears of, of more sadness for what? Generation Alpha, who I am assuming are the primary generation who's going to be affected. Wait, is she actually crying? Oh no, wait, I'm sorry. Let's hear from I thought she was sponsor, crying. Which is me, Lions Tea Exchange. And if Tea! you think that my regular ads are incredibly chaotic, Let's see how chaotic my own's going to be. <laughs> All right, so we have to make an ad for the new brand Lions Tea Exchange. Here's what I'm thinking. Imagine tea! This. You're sitting in your home and out of nowhere, someone hands you a box of Lions Tea Exchange. Whoa. So a stranger broke into my home to give me tea. No, that's not, be quiet. You're normally a coffee drinker, but you're curious. You can I smell tea, the tea. And personally. it's all so enticing. 
I'm still stuck on the fact that there's a teen ninja in my house. You go to the kettle, confused but curious. You boil some water. Whoa, Pour yourself Earl Grey, my favorite. Sip, you're hooked. Tea is all you think about now. You dream of tea leaves, dream <laughs> of Lion's Tea Exchange boxes. You like that British water drink. I love tea. The tea bags are pyramid shaped and biodegradable. That all of our wow. flavors were handpicked by me and made with a master blender and made for the purposes of being Man. functional and good to your body. Say goodbye uh, to bland body. beverages. Kick that coffee to the curb. You don't need it anymore. And say hello to a world of flavor with Lion's Tea Exchange. So Tasty. what do you think? Could we possibly revisit the Tea Ninja? So if you too love delicious hot beverages and you want to support me and the channel and you also want to drink some delicious tea, Send then me a sample, Sydney. Lions Tea Exchange.com. Right go now. and check out the flavors that we have. Get yourself a sampler box if you're not ready to commit to one particular flavor. And like I mentioned, that does really help support the channel. Also know that I pack your shipments with love because I care. So go and check oh, it out. You don't pack it yourself. You know Liar! You want to. In late 2023, a woman called Sarah Cheek and her family were banned from an ice rink in their Florida town. During an ice hockey game, her nine year old son was involved in an altercation instigated by another player. A Your mom's a hoe! A parent in the stands reportedly cheered when the child was hurt, while others ridiculed the boy. Cheek and her husband confronted the parents, which led to a bigger conflict, where she was reportedly Son banned due to mom's X-rated work? Oh my god. Violence. A few days later, as a result of these events, Cheek and her family were- No way! Her name is Mrs. Cheek? No way! Her name is Mrs. Cheek? Wait, that's a pr wait. You know what? Maybe she has a point. Maybe she should do that. I'm a clap her. Yeah, clap her cheek. Were banned from the rink, while the other parents involved were not. Sarah Cheek is well known in her community for producing content on OnlyFans. She also appeared on the cover of Playboy and now has a pretty solid gig doing sports commentary. During an interview with WFLA, Cheek and her husband Matt were asked- Wait, how do you go from OnlyFans to sports commentary? Huh. Asked if it makes them anxious knowing that anyone can subscribe to her OnlyFans and subsequently affect their four kids. Matt Cheek answered, no. It doesn't make me anxious because the way that I look at it is it, it shouldn't impact my four kids. But it does. It shouldn't, but it, wait. This radiation shouldn't give me cancer, but it does. Like, what? Like, it, it, it does, though. It, it... <laughs> or does it? I don't know, man. Maybe the radiation is tasty. Bad analogy? Suck my left nut, dude. It's an excellent analogy because social media is cancer and so is OnlyFans. <laughs> Why would any adult think that it's okay to treat a child anyway? based on the parents the parents job having things happen to yeah it but it's it's corn related work it, yeah you are looked down upon like if your dad is a garbage man, the kids are probably gonna make fun of him too. I'm just saying, it's like a it's like a profession choice thing. <laughs> I'm trying to like process how to like phrase this. I mean, this. at Fort Salami Base, there was a very high-ranking senior enlisted member whose wife is an adult mm -hmm. film star. I mean, he drove a Lambo, so I don't think he was that upset. He drove a Lambo, so I don't think he was that upset. It's I'm saying that he doesn't care. I'm I'm talking about this guy. He doesn't care, but it does affect his children. Because children I don't know, man. But I feel like he thinks that the kids should be the same as him and not care. 
about what their mom does or other people shouldn't care but then if you look at how vicious children are if they find out of course they're gonna roast him for it they're kids they don't use their brains they just do it Parents raise the kids. If you think your job won't influence your kid in some way, you're probably delusional. Well, that's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> Children can smell and fear and weakness. If you, <laughs> your mom's an OnlyFans girl, I can smell it. If society isn't gonna change, society can change. It can. We might, you know, accept this in a few years. I don't know. <laughs> kids and even worse teens would just roast every day yeah yeah mom's a vtuber god how horrifying this is why i don't want to have kids man to our children has been really hard because we turn off work we're parents in that situation and to see them get affected it's probably the most heartbreaking thing anybody can experience. The she's also a really public figure, too. Like, she's not just some random OF girl that makes, like, I don't know, $1,000 a month, which is, like, pretty good, but, you know, not, like, millions like Amaranth. She's a public figure. Like, what? Of course her kids are going to get affected by it. They also claim that this isn't even the first time Cheek's explicit content has affected their children. In the past it's few not... years, she has been banned from attending her daughter's cheerleading events, and her sons were booted from their football league. One of the pair's sons was even suspended from school. I think most of us can agree that punishing a child for the sins. No, no, that's not cool, man. Why are they getting punished? Back in for my it? day, gay was a roast. Not so much anymore. Society can change. It can. We might be heading in that direction. No, I feel bad. It shouldn't. They shouldn't ban the ki the kids. I I don't think that's the correct move. Why would it? Why would the kids? What the? F that is freaked up. Of their parents is probably not the way to go. But for these parents to act surprised and blindsided when these things inevitably happen in these situations is wild. Like people gonna people. I feel like that's pretty well established. I don't understand why they would ban her from watching the cheerleader thing, though. Is it because she's a distraction or something? What's the excuse? Prali caused the mom's complaint to the school cause they already know their husbands would be checking her out and are insecure. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, a, it's like a distraction thing. She's like a celebrity and like, you know, all the boys are just digging it up, you know? Now, I don't have pudding people as of yet, but I would assume that a general consensus among decent parents is that if you're doing something that causes your child harm or distress or pain, whether it be physical or emotional, you stop. The same thing would go for any other relationship with a person. Hold up, though. This... What was the altercation about at the start with the hockey thing? Was, like, did someone call him names over his mom i kind of missed this part i don't think they actually elaborated on it Person i was wondering if that teasing was like related a spouse to spouse or a parent or a close friend but that dynamic is really exacerbated when you are dealing with a child someone who can't just often cut you out of their lives and over whom you have a degree of control but yeah. rather than doing that identifying that only fans and the creation of explicit content is causing children pain and stopping the cheeks have done what many other the content cheeks? creators the cheeks those in similar the situations cheeks, have also bro. done blamed everyone else and doubled down this is actually an attitude that i came across again well i i don't think it was correct to ban her from the school and like ban the kids I, i'll disagree with that completely 
And, that and again, was terrible, I'm not looking man. Into this topic, and I suppose it brings me to my first point about this issue. These people seem to believe that sex work, as they call it, is as innocuous as any other profession, and if it makes them feel good, then really no harm done. In July 2021, in another Reddit post, a mother allegedly likened her OnlyFans content to working in a bank or a grocery store. Okay. When I confronted my mom about this, she told me I was overacting and that is the same as working at a bank or a grocery store. Wait, what? It's not! What? Yeah, man, y you hear that, you guys? If you are part of a bank management, you are just like an OnlyFans girl. <laughs> This could also be completely fake, keep in mind. I don't trust Reddit posts at all. Gaslighting your child. I really hope this is fake. I could kind of believe the other one because at least in the end it had like a happy ending somewhat, but you never know. Again, Reddit is not a great like indicator of truth. Where them grocery stores at? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Where you're naked, I guess? Banks give lap dances. Sign me up, Wells Fargo. <laughs> Imagine your tellers just twerking on you while they're handing your money. That'd be so good. You what? The post gained media oh. attention because the 13 year old child who wrote it expressed that his mother's actions and content make him want to self delete, especially after he became the target of bullies at his school. When the child tried discussing that with his mom, she apparently said that it makes her feel good about herself, making the explicit content, and that her son should be happy that she's more- Oh my god. This is like parenting 101. You never try to talk to kids like they're your friends. You never say like, oh, I'm more confident, you should be happy for me. That is like um, nepotism and narcissism 101. You never treat them like friends, and you don't try to, like, rationalize them with, like, a friend. Yeah, I'm your mother, not your friend. And she's clearly not doing that. If my teller would twerk on me while handing me my money, I'd get it all in one dollar bills, and start to make it rain <laughs> up in that motherfucker. <laughs> Let's go! White duck ass! White duck ass! <laughs> to start beatboxing and shit, that'd be sick. You expect people who never grew up or take responsibility to suddenly act like adults would be responsible, they won't. Yeah, unfortunately, that is the case, and why there's so many, like, issues that come with being a parent is because sometimes p people who are parents don't... I know this sounds really mean, but sometimes they don't, they shouldn't have kids because they never grew up and it's just damaging. I feel really, really bad for those. For those ones. I'm confident now. I feel like this is the same <laughs> argument that meth heads make. Except rather than making them feel more confident, I guess it just deadens them inside. Probably just mm -hmm. like how this little boy is currently feeling. That, that got dark. The flippancy and the arguable selfishness expressed in this post remind- I have- <laughs> ah! What am I reading? What is that? I have sex with other men for my husband's pleasure. <laughs> Holy moly, that's strong. I did a lot of an interview on the Other People's Lives podcast from February 2023. The hosts, Joe and Greg, interviewed a woman who makes explicit content with her husband and other men. What if he likes it, man? Yeah, just, just. If he likes it, that's cool, man. This is this is gonna be great. Do what you episode, want, man. Joe and I'm not, Greg not ask your the mom. about how her chosen profession affects her three children, two of her older daughters being 11 and 14 at the time. Oh my God, they have kids. Oh God, what are you doing, mommy and daddy? Why are you going out? Why are you hiring a um? Why are you hiring a babysitter? Uh, we're just gonna go out for a few hours. My goodness gracious me, I really hope they don't know, or they never find out. 
time of recording. She said that in order to circumvent them finding out about her quote unquote job from other people, she opted to tell them herself. I would love <laughs> Oh my god, no! to be a fly on the wall while these conversations are going down. Mummy, why am I being bullied at school? I'm sorry, Marta. It's 2024 and sex work is real work and I put all my areolas on the internet to pay for your piano lessons. I'm sorry, you did what? She added that- Mommy gets filmed by daddy and they have coitus with men for posts online. My brain is actually short-circuiting, I'm sorry. Before they hire one of their bullies' dads. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man! Bro, like- <laughs> And in a small town, too? Like, that shit would leak everywhere! That the problems began when other kids in the town started finding her content and showing her daughters. Uh, mostly, like, other kids finding my stuff and then showing my daughters and being like, your mom's a whore! That was really tough, and it ended up coming down to is I kind of had to just be like, I'm not doing it anymore. I kind of had to lie to them. In fact, I was told by their other set of parents that I needed to lie to them and tell them that I wasn't doing it anymore. When the host went on- <sighs> Their parents had to tell her. I'm, I, I'm gonna be honest, if I found the specific details of like, my husband and I- How have you seen the 24 hour daycares so parents can go out clubbing? No, I've never seen that, because I don't live in an area that does that shit. No, 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 think about it this way. What if you were a parent, right? And you found out that one of your friends, one of your daughter's friends has a friend who has a mom who does this and then they film corn, right? Would you still let them co go over to their house? Like, what if they're filming it like in the, like in the house? What if they're not like smart and they do it inside of their house? Like, I wouldn't let them if I found out. Like, I'm not going to ask them and be like, do you, like, go to another location? I'd be like, hell no, I'm not sending my kids out there. That's what I think is, like, the most fricked up thing about it. Film what? Explicit things. Like, what if they accidentally walk in on them or something? How would I know? What if your child was sitting on the sofa they filmed on? Yeah, exactly. I won't let the kid there, but I'll go. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> on to ask her how she broke this news to her children about her making the, the content. Similarly to the aforementioned Reddit post, the woman explained that she likes doing the devil's tango and that she didn't get to have a ho phase in her early life because she was pregnant very early on. Bro, what? I'm sorry, what? No, 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 dial it back. You got pregnant early, so now you want to have a hoe phase. So you feel like you missed out. Oh my god, I'm so glad my mom taught me what fucking contraception is early. There's so many low IQ people, man. <laughs> oh my lord. Mommy didn't get to be a hoe, so you just get to be bullied at school. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Mommy, why are there 10 men in your room? Ah! Did one of them spill a milkshake? Cause you're covered in white stuff. Ah! Stop! Plot twist, she was always a hoe. Well... We don't know, but maybe, maybe she got pregnant early on accident. What, what is this? Wait, 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 wait a freaking minute. So this lady films herself doing the devil's tango with not only her husband, but with other men, and then proceeds to put the explicit content on the internet. Lady, this is, that's not a hoe phase. What, I mean, what exactly wow. did you tell them? That's not a phase, it's just you wanting to have a career. I feel like, yeah. And like, you were like, I, I make adult content. Like, yeah. what exactly? Oh, okay. Pretty sure that makes her a hoe.
Nah, dog, it doesn't. Of course not. No. The stupidity in that statement killed my whatever brain cell left me. Dude, I sometimes I have a hard time talking. I just don't know what to say. That's pretty much exactly what I told them. I was like, yeah, um, so I've always had super bad self-confidence, and you guys, I know, are pretty aware of that. I became a mom at a very young age, so I never got to explore that part of my life. Chat, do I have to hoe out because I was in a hoe to begin with? Is that like how it works? Is that is that how the women work? The phase is a phase. This girl has gone beyond phase and it's now a lifestyle. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She just wants to have a career. Yes, dude. Uh, you just, I, I just don't get it. I don't, I don't get Sounds it. Sounds like she did enough exploring early enough. Apparently not, because she keeps freaking doing it and freaking up her kids. She's blaming her kids to justify her actions. Well, if I heard this, if I was that kid that was born when she was, um, you know what, I, like when she was pregnant and that's me, I'm the child in the womb. And then she says, you know, I didn't get to have my phase and my exploration phase because of this. Because of you, essentially. Look, just because your dad's name is Vosh and fucks horses doesn't mean you should be bullied. If, uh, if Vosh was my dad, I would do something else other than Is bullying. it really a phase at this point? No, no, it's a career path. Career choice. <laughs> this is- I can't, this man. This is so fucked. This is so fried! Yo, Savage v -Bad, thank you so much for this year one. <laughs> Dude. Life. I never got to explore the sexual side. I never got to have a hoe phase. And so <laughs> this is kind of me as an adult. Man, she's trolling. Who says it's a Why would you say that? She's probably like 30 years old plus. I mean, if you want to have more nuts in you than a Snickers bar, that's up to you. Just do us a favor and don't tell us about it. Oh, well, man. Adults so being cooked. smart about it. If Osh was my dad, I'd accept all the bullying. It's my fault for winning the race to be his kid. <laughs> I had to put it together there for a second. I was like, race to what? Oh. <laughs> and safe. Like, I it's do make sure fault. everybody that I come encounter with has been tested. I get tested regularly. Mm -hmm. And I let them know that. And I also reminded them that I am an adult and I am allowed to make these choices why are you talking to your kids as if they are also adults? This mental gymnastics stuff is really hurting my brain. Like, I'm trying to put myself into the shoes of being, like, I don't know, like, 14 years old, and my mom's explaining to me how she has rights as an adult to do things that she wants to do because she's an adult, like, spreading her coochie online? I don't know, man. This is some... Cope. Being open and free with yourself is a really nice thing and a really beautiful thing. And being uh. able to be confident in yourself and feel good about what you're doing and making yourself feel good because let's all be real, sex feels good. Like plenty of other <laughs> anecdotes that I've seen from content. <laughs> Do you want to know why it feels good? Because you're supposed to reproduce. Did you know that? Eating feels good because it makes you full and you don't die. Endorphins. Whoa. That's crazy. Did you guys know that? Let's all be real. Heroin feels good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, let's do drugs because it feels good. <laughs> this is way too good. Sex feels good. But at least men have post nut clarity. Dude, this is the epitome of nepotism. Heroin withdrawal sucks ass. Yeah, but you just keep doing it, you know? You just keep doing it. Content creating parents. This mother also admits that her oldest daughter is embarrassed. And that's not oh something that God. this mother considered happening when she started posting and making explicit content. Her friends have seen me make it. Like, that is a little. Oh my God. Oh my god, oh my god, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? Her 
our friends have seen her. <sighs> like, I'll admit, I have seen other women naked in real life, like at the gym or something, like in the showers. Like, that's completely normal, right? But this is like, she's like, you know, being sexual, like, I don't know, like spreading her coochie. <laughs> Look at her friends saw that. What is it she say? It's so proud because she is proud. She's she's being what she wants to be. A little embarrassing for a child to go through, and that that wasn't something I really can. Hey, Olivia, isn't this your mum? Yeah, yeah. How old are her friends? Straight to jail? Wait, that's a really good point. Why the hell are you? Oh my God, they're looking at. I don't know, ma'am. I don't know. Yeah, she's being her true self. No, it's the kid. How old is the kid? Her daughter is 14. Yeah. Considered when I started. She didn't say she showed them important. No, I think they probably saw it. They found it online and they saw it together, I think. That's probably what happened. Started getting right into it. And with not considering that, that's my bad. Believe it or not, the I didn't think about how this would affect other people thing is a very common theme here. Online personality Adam22, who makes spicy content with his wife Lena, appeared on the podcast Raw Talk in mid-2023. During the episode, when asked what? about his two-year-old daughter, Adam said the couple didn't consider her when making decisions about their content creation. That's heartless. That is kind of heartless. I'm not going to lie. But I don't know. Considering it's like people admitting to this in public, I don't know. It's hard to say. You need a lot of definitive proof for it to be real, but I don't know. I don't put it past them. So, so I mean, because that, that had to be the biggest thing you guys were like deciding for or against it, right? For your daughter, right? I'm assuming that would have been the hardest thing of it. Or you just. No, we didn't talk about it. That is heartless. So what was the hardest part for you in the same? Nah, yes. nah, I didn't think of my kid. I don't give a fuck about him. To it. The hardest part for me was just like wrapping my head around the idea that my girl was going to spend any amount of time with another guy. Because even though I said it's not that big a deal to me, it's still a deal. It's still a thing. He doesn't care about her, his wife porking other men, but he kind of does care. That's crazy. Like, I care, but I also don't really care, but also it's kind of like I care. What? It's either you care or you don't, man. Thing. You know, I have floated this idea previously, but I'm gonna float it again. Parenting license. We need an asteroid like the dinosaurs got. Honestly, yes, nu nuclear wasteland. Fallout, fallout reset, please. Now, much of this attitude seems to piggyback on the slogans of liberal feminism, that sex work- Cookaloids are not mentally stable. I mean, we're not mentally stable, we're in a VTuber chat, to be fair. Knowing that your kids' friends have seen porn of you and even being fine with it is huge red flags. I, that's, this is cope, man. This is massive cope. Is real work and therefore cannot be questioned. And any negative consequences that come with participating in the sex industry are purely the result of unnecessary, unwarranted stigma. And that if everybody just dropped their puritanical attitudes, all would be well. And while that's all well and good, as far as meaningless online political discourse goes, it doesn't exactly translate in the real world. A place where you have to accept- Let me translate. I care that my wife is getting stuffed like a turkey, but she pays all the bills, so. Greed and vanity. Yeah, exactly. We entered a different time. <laughs> You think the Mayans have anything to do with with it, man? Why indeed? I don't know. I'm not a philosopher. I couldn't tell you. If I was greedy, I'd just do it too, but I don't.
I would never, man. Except that you're not always going to be met with the exact conditions that you want. So while the sex work is real work crowd can fantasize as much as they like about what life might be like, absent of stigma, the fact remains, it currently exists. Sorry mm -hmm, to be the mm -hmm. bearer of bad tidings. Although at this mm. point, I feel like that's my primary role for all of you. Now it Making might be one miserable. thing for this negative association to impact a fully grown adult individual who is participating and involved in the industry. It is another matter entirely when that individual's actions start impacting children who have absolutely no say in the matter. A Business Insider article from early 2023 penned by an OnlyFans mother lamented how this very stigma and the judgment associated with making not safe for work content is the four grand a month that's a freaking buttload not gonna lie adam 22 has been 40 years old and has been on youtube since 2006 pretty much warped his development to an adjusting adult so he's been on the platform for oh my god i can't do math 18 years no but he was already an adult when he came onto YouTube? Nah, he was already, like, dumb. Four grand barely pays rent in some states. Yeah, that is true. I, I live in a cheaper area. But for me, $4,000 a month is a lot. A lot of money. But she wishes that she didn't have to. She wrote, I felt I was already running a risk by having an OnlyFans page as a mother. It didn't matter how much it benefited me financially. People look down on women who do any kind of- It was all Rambe's fault. That's why we have only fans. Do it. The stigma is even worse. Everyone assumes it will irreparably damage the child somehow. I don't know, man. If Gen Z have taught me anything, it's that everything can irreparably damage a child. If Gen yeah. Z can internalize trauma from their parents forgetting to get them a birthday cake on their fifth birthday party, I am fairly certain that you putting your pink bits on the internet- your mom putting her one nipple. Nope, that's not it either. Your mom getting very comfortable and intimate with some fruit on the internet for $12 a month is definitely going to cause some major trauma. Despite yeah. the potential blowback and negative perception, the woman says, running an OnlyFans page is the perfect job for a mother. I Congrats on the sub sponsorship. Yo, thank you, Justin. Thank you so much for the 15 months. I really appreciate that. Oh my god. Guys, if you have a wife that thinks this is the perfect job, I don't know, man. Divorce him, probably. <laughs> we are just yapping anything at this point. I'm a yapper, but even I don't say dumb shit like this. I created content at home while my kids were at school. I could take time off when I needed it. I was available to pick up my children after school instead of forcing them into some daycare program. If they were sick, I could stay at home with them. I even had enough free time to volunteer in their classroom. What I find really interesting about this article I do OnlyFans because I want to work from home and have more time for my kids. Is there not any other jobs that you could have? that would involve not leaving the house so you can spend time with your kids? I don't know, I feel like maybe? In its totality hmm. is that this mother the only, seems only fans, quite yeah. upset about the stigma associated with what she was doing, doesn't seem to actually think that it will cause irreparable damage to children and even makes the argument that it's a great and even perfect job for mothers. Yeah. All while also admitting to the fact that she deleted her account from the platform, from OnlyFans, because the drawbacks were too many. The maths ain't mathin'. I guess all of this <laughs> brings me to my second point. The individualism that underpins most of modern society, the attitude, I do what I want, when I want, consequences be damned, future consequences be damned, is all what- Didn't COVID prove how many jobs you can do while at home? Yeah. Yeah. It did, but 
OF is easier. Am I right, guys? Right? Well and good when you're a teenager or even a 20-something living wild and free, but it's a lot harder to justify when pudding people are in the picture. So as a result, and unsurprisingly, consideration for those pudding people really doesn't seem to be at the forefront um, lower barrier to entry for if actually, yeah, yeah, they basically hire you on the spot. Yeah. In early February of this year, 2024, a woman called Michelle Klein got her children oh, yeah, expelled this. from a Christian school in Florida. <laughs> I don't know what universe you think this was a good idea either. I don't know. I mean, I guarantee you most of those of girls just laid there anyways, so even they're working, they still aren't doing work. Of course. Mm. Do you say the same thing that's been said here to strippers? Me, personally, as a female? Yeah. Yeah. That's just me, though. Klein was asked to stop driving her car on school property because it had a decal of her OnlyFans handle on the- <laughs> In a Christian school, by the way. <laughs> like, what?! Look, God said go forth and multiply. He didn't say anything about filming it. <laughs> Multiply those eyes on her. Your kids don't see you stripping though, there's that. Yeah, I guess you could argue that you wouldn't, but at the same time, if you live in a small enough town or a small enough area, people will know that you're a, you're a stripper. People will figure it out. Like, word of mouth is insane in a smaller town. Why would you advertise it on your car? In a Christian school, by the way! Office is modern stripping, you're selling the same thing. Yeah, you're selling sex. Like, it is. It is selling. You're selling your body, in a way, yes. It's spread so quickly in a small town. I am guarantee you, like, one teacher would go into a strip club and see that Timmy's mom is there and it's over. I get advertising, but locally? No, I- I- no, the thing that blows my mind, it's like, it's not even like a, a- like a normal school, it's a Christian school. And then she has the gall to drive her, you know, her OnlyFans Smart ad move. there. Those Christians are too repressed to resist. I mean, you're gonna- she did get banned. I'm pretty sure they pulled their kids out of school, if I'm not mistaken. The back window, and quite a large one, if I do say so myself. That is quite large. Well, it's nothing new. The Catholic Church was the biggest pimp orga for the longest time of our history. Being a hoe is very Christian thing, therefore. True. Like, lady, what did you expect? Told her she could not drive on school property anymore. After that, she added up. Wait, wait, they didn't suspend the kid or anything like that? They just banned her off the school? larger decal and now this week the clients got a letter saying the family's enrollment has been immediately terminated oh she got a bigger decal oh my god she did she they told her to stop and then she went ahead and did it anyway nah i feel really bad for the kid but she's obviously not gonna learn that is so unfair on the child, honestly. It's definitely not for kids, but there's a paywall that you can't access unless you have ID and a credit card. In an interview, she said that she had the decal on her car for about two years before it became an issue and another parent complained. Since then, she says- Well, you probably didn't drive it on their property enough. Let's be real. She hasn't been on school grounds, which just by the way is confusing because in uh, another news report that I listened to, uh, they said that apparently she got a bigger decal and and kept driving on the school grounds. So I I don't know I don't know what the deal is there. When asked about yeah. her thoughts on her kids being expelled, she indicated that she thinks it's unfair. So I want to ask you, what was your reaction to the kids kind of being expelled or or, or kicked out of the school? Did you think that that had crossed? I mean, it's unfair on the child, but you kept driving the car, apparently. I'd need more details on that, but if you kept- If you got warned and told not to do that... I don't know, man. Lost a line. 
it's kind of on you. Um, I do, yes, because I feel like when they came to me and asked me to not be on property any longer with my vehicles, I immediately obliged. I wasn't back on property one more time since then. And, oh, okay. And I did what I was asked, but then I felt like, um, you know, like that wasn't enough. It's like they had to like take it further. And now I feel like it was being taken on the kids because they weren't an issue. You know, their behavior, their grades, anything like that wasn't a problem. It's just simply someone didn't like my car decal, so I removed it from the property, and yet it still wasn't sufficient. Now, Helene, that is pretty unfair. I would have called the police for her trespassing. Okay, she's claiming that it's not, that she did not do it again then that's unfair the, to expel the children. Yeah. I'd really need, like, a detailed report on that because she did say there's two contradicting statements. Women never lie? Yeah. But there's two articles. Jesus, that forehead almost as big as yours. Man, you are so fucking cruel! Shut up! Hilariously, the latest development in this story is that the parent who complained about the decal, her children have also been suspended because she caused, quote, disharmony in the school. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! You know what? Based, based, ban them both. <laughs> wait, no, that's actually really funny. They both got banned from the school. <laughs> Equal punishment for all. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Disharmony? Yeah, disharm these nuts. By making a TikTok video about the incident. So, uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Ban her. Yes, yes, absolutely agree. Yeah, if she did a, f a follow up video, like on TikTok and like publicly did that, yes, yeah, she deserved it. Yeah, women never lie. My hair is beautiful and my pee pee is huge copium. Chat. You have a full head of hair and you have a massive pee pee, and you're very cool, and everyone likes you, including me. Uh, yeah, there's a uh, th there's all of that. Now, something that I have touched on with relation to this topic in the past is that people seem to be of the opinion that there won't actually ever really be any consequences for their actions. This is especially common with young women who presently do OnlyFans and make explicit content who are not yet mothers, but want to be a parent somewhere down the road. In one of my videos titled The Age of OnlyFans Regret, we watched I showed this a video. clip from the Whatever podcast where several young women argued that their content wouldn't be a problem problem for their future children because the market is currently saturated with so many women doing what they're doing. But then they go ahead and hire lawyers that take down or issue copyright stuff to pirating websites of their OnlyFans and then cry that they can't wipe the nudes off of their of the internet and then say, oh no, I regret it so much. Wee, I don't know how the internet works. Meaning their children and their peers will all be in the same boat because all their moms put their their lady parts on the internet. If you raise your kid in LA, like there are so many sex workers here that I don't think that, you know, specifically one of ours necessarily is gonna be the talk of the town when there's like so many plus years now going on between now and then. These women also seem to believe that they- Honestly, I think in a way they're right. In a place like LA, if it's normalized, I don't think people would honestly care that much, but I still think they would bully each other, little kids. I don't know, man. I don't live in an area that has that kind of thing that's very common. They can have their spicy content meaningfully taken off the internet with takedown requests. Which, like, just to reiterate, and I know that I already covered this in detail in my OnlyFans regret video, that's not a thing. Again, the internet is mostly forever. Especially when it comes to seeing your butthole. Why wouldn't you delete your <laughs> OnlyFans if you... I've already spoken about this. I was big okay. enough to where my is going to be out there. You can ages. get it taken down very easily. You uh, can't. No, you can't. Yes, you can. 100%. No, you can't. You no, you can't. Low IQ. Doesn't understand how the internet works, but okay. So it's gonna be yes, there. Yeah, yeah, try to get that pirating website that, that posts every single nude girl's, uh, like, internet history that is located in freaking like siberia or something depends on origin country or certain countries as well i'm telling you that most places that illegally upload photos and do like those kinds of things 
They don't give a fuck about your takedowns at all. They'll just be like, oh, what? Takedown? <laughs> Rip it apart. I was just curious why. You can't. I was just curious. I know. You okay, listen. Pay, you, guys, you guys have been doing this for six months, too. I also have lawyers that literally tell me. Oh, my God. These lawyers serve down, uh, serve these takedowns, and they totally Terry's works. Terry's literally a good little doc with all of Bella Delphine's NSFW stuff. Yeah, and I'm sure she tried to take it down, and they won't. Probably because they live in, like, Armenia or something. <laughs> like, the server's somewhere in Mongolia. What are you gonna do? Serve the Mongolian government with a lawsuit? What would I do? What the fuck? <laughs> like, you just pay for it and it gets like, there's DCMA takedowns, so I actually... Just because you pay someone to issue a DMCA doesn't mean it's gonna work. Why do you think it took years for um, World of Warcraft and other private servers for MMOs to get taken down or even just stay up indefinitely because they can't do anything? A couple of times a week, we'll go Those out. Those are multi billion to dollar companies. My name and see if there's any of my content out there. And I use legal action and DCMA takedown to take that content down. So some of it doesn't. <laughs> that guy's face! <laughs> always get taken down based on the country that it's in because they don't obviously fall under those legal actions unsurprisingly like oh, i shit. have already said in this video several times the things being expressed here are not uncommon and this has been articulated again and again and again in one yeah. clip from june 2023 host piers morgan asks an only fans creator called l brooks how she thinks her future children will react and feel when they see her explicit content she responds, they can cry in a Ferrari. Whoever owns Pierce. <laughs> okay, yeah, they can cry in a Ferrari, yeah. Yeah, that Ferrari is definitely going to heal the emotional damage. Here's Morgan's content and his show. Uh, I actually don't know the company. I didn't look it up. Sorry about that. They are notorious for copyright claiming and whatnot. So I am going to try to include the clip. I don't know if it's going to stick, but we're going to see how it goes. How would you yes. feel when you want to have kids yourself? Well, I mean, that's I, I don't really want kids right now. But you will. How old are you? 25. Right. So you will do at some stage, probably. Right. Maybe. When you do, yeah. you're going to be proud that you have your little ones and they yeah. look at you and go, didn't you want to be a lawyer, mummy? What happened? Yeah. And you go, yeah, but look at all my stuff. They can cry in a Ferrari. <laughs> this is the face that we all make internally. This, he pursed his lips this too. Is He's like... Mm. Just, just weeping. <sighs> I find it very interesting that there appears to be this belief that the monetary yeah, she sped up and the financial footage, yeah. benefits of this type of work will Blood! inevitably Blood! pacify the negative experiences of children present or future. Mm, this again shoulder. is something that I've seen over and over with relation Hasty. to this issue. You I feel too. like what I'm doing allows my daughter to have a better life. Like I am able to, we're going to be able to like put her through private school because I have the life that I have now. Like I wouldn't have. There's people who immigrate from India from living in mud huts to give their children a better life in America or in like from Pakistan so that they can go to school and become like lawyers and doctors or like own their own business and then yet here we are talking about putting their assholes on the internet <laughs> it's like china with copyright they don't care even the almighty mouse and equally powerful nintendo are powerless to do anything in certain regions that's what i'm saying yeah people have been shitting on kids for being the children of sex workers since the beginning of time I don't think that will ever change no matter how much normalizing is done. I don't know. It this might... video has helped me learn that sex money outweighs my children's <laughs> future. You heard it here first, chat. It outweighs everything. Money is the best. It's just so good. Everything is fixed with money. Even my mental health problems, for sure. I've been able to give her that without that. And you don't, you're not old enough or mature enough to grasp the benefits that have actually happened from this. You're only seeing one side of it. And I think after I had that conversation, she seemed to understand it a lot more. I just feel like it's not that serious. This is a first world problem. This is a first world problem. You're not allowed to, you, we can't live in this like tens, ten, uh, you know, like f 
penthouse apartment because I'm putting my body on the on OnlyFans. It could be so much worse. We could live be living in a four hundred thousand dollar house instead of fucking a one point five million. Yes, I don't know. People get bullied for all sorts of things. So she understand it all. Lost all hope. I don't know, man. They're a kid. I think I would set my kid up with a life where they would be one safe, two financially stable, and three have a good relationship with me. So if anything were to take place, I would be able to take care of it. Now, of course, I would be remiss if I didn't add that there are children who Bro. seem to be mostly adult who don't care about their parents' spicy content. I also saw articles and other stories while looking into this topic where daughters make content with their mothers or what? sons take photos of their mothers. Guys, I would do not appropriate things to myself with a rope than do things with my own mom. That is actually disgusting. Like, that means that your brain is, like, actually wired in a weird way, if you're into that. You c Yes, that's illegal. Yes, and they don't care. No. Keep the money in the family. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I, I actually like, I, oh my god. Only fans in Mississippi is popping off Smuggle and a Keck. <laughs> Shut up! Others indicate that the children are overall fine with all of this and even support it. Although I would argue that children <sighs> are not the most forward thinking humans. So to sign them up to a lifetime of implications that they probably don't fully understand the scope of yet seems a little selfish. This is also sort of an aside to this issue, but I do think that it's worth adding that parents model behavior for their children. So a mother or even father making spice content models that this is a vi- with In their my daughters, view, it sets them up for a I would life die. Of exploitation, especially if they choose to pursue this path when they are freshly 18. Like, fresh out of the womb, their little noggins are, are not. Oh my god, what? What? Not developed yet. That's, yeah, that's how I feel about 18 year olds. I also, uh... also want to. Why was that? Why is she shoving cream in her mouth? And that I assume that this is going to make what was that? agreements and disputes a lot more challenging going forward. But that's definitely a conversation for another day. I think the fact of the matter here is that OnlyFans as a platform is probably not going anywhere anytime soon. Nope, and actually, it's I not. think you can extend that to any kind of adult content creation and these adult industries generally. There is an ever growing market for this this, and that means that there will be people to meet that demand. But as far as children go, it's sometimes very hard for me to wrap my head around why mothers especially would participate on a platform that more than likely won't give them the financial freedom that they so desire, given that the vast majority of creators on OnlyFans only make somewhere between $150 to $180 a month. Which is like nothing, by the way. Literally dirt. This is something else that I explored in detail in my OnlyFans regret video, so I won't react mm -hmm, here. And if you're mm -hmm. interested, go and watch that video because uh, we talk about all of this. Ultimately, I think that we can all agree that first and foremost, a parent's responsibility is to make sure that their child is safe and well cared for. So with that said, I think it's very hard to make the argument- Why is mental health not an important factor in being in a healthy like family? Like even if you're a single mom, why is that not your priority? Why is money more important to you than your health, the mental health of your child? And that knowingly exposing putting people to an industry that is known to be destructive and gross and harmful meets that criteria. Mm -mm. Especially when many, if not most, OnlyFans creators are very public about information that would ordinarily be private, like their actual name and their face and other information that they use to promote their spice content. While I understand- Because America? My guy, there's a mental health crisis all over the globe. It is not exclusive to fucking America, sadly. Sadly, it is very much popular in other countries. It's very, very sad. Can we bring back Insane Asylum? 
I don't know, man. I want to be put in an insane asylum sometimes, man. Stand I really that do. Some people would much rather live in this magical <sighs> fantasy land where there so is absolutely much. no stigma attached to doing the horizontal monster mash on camera. That is not the reality in which we currently live, and that likely isn't going to change. So especially where pudding people are involved, I think it's considerably more important, at least in my opinion, to accept the reality in which we all exist, the parameters that exist, and work within those confines rather than wish for a world that's completely different and put your child in harm's way. I think it's worth remembering that only- That's the biggest cope I hated about this guy that said like, oh, well, it's not fair that my kids are being affected by this. It doesn't affect me, so why does it affect my children? It just goes back to looping like, oh, you know, the world should be different. It's like, shut up, man. You did this. Only you did this to your really kids. Rose to prominence in You're the adult. The pandemic, which wasn't all that long ago. So with this platform being very new, it's very concerning and telling that we already have so many examples of children suffering the consequences of their parents' participation on the platform. And in the mm -hmm. end, and unfortunately, I think all this indicates is that things are almost certainly going to get worse. Now on that very happy and pleasant note, and before I open the floor to all of you, this is just a reminder to check out Lions Tea Exchange, my little brand, tea using the link in the description. We plug. have a bunch of flavors that you can try. You can get yourself a sample pack if you so desire. And it helps tea. the channel, it supports me, it supports all the things that we do, and it means a lot that you guys give my weird little endeavors a try. So go check it out, you won't regret it. And yeah, I like tea. Now open the floor to all of you. What do you all think? Is this issue actually a big deal to you? you yes. Think, eh, it doesn't really matter all that much. This is not that important. Do you think- I really hope this doesn't become more normalized because if I have to hear from my brother's little kid that she's going to a house where there's like a an OnlyFans mom, I would I would lose my mind. I would tell my brother immediately to not let my little fucking needs to go over to their house. I'd be like, hell no. The parents owe their hell children no. a sense of responsibility and respect when it comes to how they conduct themselves, not only in their profession, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. but also on the internet. And if those two meet, where's the line on how that parent should actually behave? Do you think that it's not There's really no that line. big of a deal? All kids get bullied. This is just par for the course. It's Do you just think the parents normal, have a responsibility guys. to stop doing what they're doing to protect their children in this sense? And what do you generally make of this issue overall? As always, if you made it this far in the video, congratulations. I always like having you along for the full ride and this ride was very long indeed. Yeah, it is a if long ride. If you are ride. not subscribed already and you would like to see more of me and more of this kind of content, feel Yay! free to subscribe to the channel and also leave me a like and a comment. I do read the majority of your comments and I really like hearing your feedback. It's always good to get an alternative perspective than my own. Clam On that juice. note, stay safe and well and I will see you guys in the next video. Buy her tea, chat. Buy her tea. <laughs> no, it's a good video overall.